Hey everybody, it's Michael from Steelyard here with my personal favorite conversation that I have at Markets. It's Libby Langdon, everybody, joining me on the Quarren stream here with Steelyard. Hi, how are you, Michael? I'm great, Libby. I really am. Um, you know, we, we chatted for a few minutes and, and started to talk about how we're both doing and your energy just pushes through no matter what's going on in the world. So let's start there. The world is a different place right now. Um, it is. There's a lot going on. You're in New York. Tell us first what's going on there. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Um, you know, I closed my office down beginning of March when everything started to really, really go nuts. But um, I'm in Sag Harbor, our house in Long Island, and everybody in on my team um, is still working from home. I'm working from home. Business is still happening. I know it's not for a lot of people, but as a designer, I work on projects all over the country. We've done stuff in Vancouver, Connecticut, Texas, Florida, um, Rhode Island. So this isn't super unusual for us to still be doing design jobs and working remotely. Um, luckily, we're kind of set up for that. This is just sure. kind of taking it to, a, to another level. Um, but yeah, it's good. And, and to be honest, I, you know, I think for a lot of us, especially people who go to markets, a lot of markets, we can look at our schedules and they're really blocked out by what flight you're taking, you know, in the next four months. And so staying put, I'm kind of enjoying it. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm liking the, the hard reset that uh, that we're all needing to take and, and just stay at home, so. And it's a great way to put it. It's a forced reset, right? We have to, so we yep. have to get us to it. Now, is Hubby okay with it? Is he okay with you being around all the time? Love it. We are having a blast. <laughs> Good. We, and, you know, honestly, a, a fun fact is we dated long distance for seven years before we got married. So like for us to be able to be together all day, every day, we are loving it. So it's all good. It's all good okay. in the neighborhood here. That's great. <laughs> so you've been doing a lot of chats, a lot of Zoom things, a lot of presentations with folks. So has he walked behind you in any of them or has he stayed? Yes, you get in a, you get an occasional wave. Uh, he's maybe going up and down the stairs. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there are Keith sightings. It's kind of a Where's Waldo kind of thing in the house. So that's great. Yeah. Well, I feel kind of lucky because you've been doing chats with Meg Caswell. You did one with Tom Felicia. You've got an event coming up on Monday. So I feel pretty lucky to have this chat with you. So tell me how those have gone. What have you been talking about and what's coming up on Monday for you? Yeah. Oh, it's been great. Yeah. I had so much fun talking with Tom and we kind of just talked about licensing. We talked about High Point and how we met. And then I talked with Meg because we both did shows on HGTV. So we talked about Makeover TV. Um, had fun chatting with Carson Cressley. We talked all things interior design and gave out lots of advice. And on Monday, I'm really excited because I'm doing a pat panel um, for Home Accents Today and the de Designers Today um, with Shayla Copas, Sasha Bickoff, and um, uh, Stacy Garcia, and it's it's introductions interrupted. All of us who had introductions that were slated for the April market is that are not happening or are happening, and how are we sort of getting around it? So that's going to be at three o'clock on Instagram uh, Live and Facebook Live. Fantastic, cool. I talked to Shayla earlier this week, and we were talking about her collections too. And and it's challenging, right? We should be in. Mm -hmm. Um, it, it starts today. We should be in high point. You, especially with all the collections you've got going on, let's talk about those and the delay to October. You've got um, something going on with Fairfield Chair, continuing to have something going on with Fairfield Chair. Um, and Chris Obama, who was going to be back in high point for the first Yay! time in a long time, which was super exciting. Um, and yep. then watching a new accessories collection with a and Home. So tell us- A&B Home. Yeah, and then I also have new artwork with Paragon, and that is available now. And then my rugs with Cass. So um, the new introductions that we had slated for Fairfield um, and the new accessories with A&B Home, those are going to wait to roll out and we'll 
we'll show those in October. Um, but the new items for, and Cristorama as well, the new items won't be until October. Right. But um, for Paragon, they're so nimble because they're based in Alabama right. and everything's made right there at their factory. So those new introductions are already up on their website and my website. So, so it's fun to keep peppering in new things, even though, you know, we're not all at market. And I think a big challenge and and it's kind of been fun is to reimagine how we're letting people know about new product and how are we doing that in this age and i think what you guys are doing at steel yard this is a perfect example look at us connecting with all these people yep. from our homes so digitally there are a lot of creative ways you can promote new product even though we're not at market this week Sure. Business goes on, right? The count yep. people still have installs and buying to do and everything else. And, you know, it's, we've got to give them a little taste and that's what high point at home is. So um, I think Paragon, in fact, I think your pieces are on high point at home with us. So we'll, we'll Oh, good. Fabulous. Um, but I've got to ask the one word that really has been popping up with your Fairfield chair pieces. And I'm a little embarrassed. It's, it's all about legs, you know, <laughs> a lot about legs, your legs, the legs of the table. <laughs> Tell us, tell us about the legs with Fairfield Chair. It's a running theme across the Libby Langdon platform legs. So, yeah, <laughs> no, it's true. I, you know, I've really had a great time sort of delving into the case goods end of designing furniture. So whether it was the upholstery or the case goods, kind of having legs styled and things that are rooted in traditional design but have a little bit of a modern twist has been really really fun and you know i think it's also inspiring just to go through the factory at fairfield and see how they actually turn the legs and there's a guy there standing there turning the leg at a machine making it so so knowing what they could do with the capability kind of let me have a little more fun and freedom design wise. So, but yes, legs are very important to me in all aspects of my life. <laughs> awesome. Well, you talk about kind of that modern twist on things. You mentioned recently about the 3D printer at Fairfield Chair too, and how that's impacted making furniture. Tell us more about that. Oh my gosh, it is unbelievable. And I think what it has done is also given me freedom I've never even seen a 3D printer. It's the craziest thing. It is. But what was fascinating was I was able to draw and sketch my own hardware that I wanted for the case goods, for desks and dining chairs or dining um, consoles and things like that. And, um, and I could give them the drawing. They would do the CAD, put it into this machine, and then out pops a plastic sample of the hardware or the knob that I designed. And so that was a game changer for Amazing. me. Working with a company that's that progressive in, in their thinking and their technology. And yeah. I think in this day and age, companies have to go there. You know, you've got to be, you've got to be ready to be on it in that way. Absolutely. Well, I was excited to spend some time in Cristorama, this market, having you know them, them not being there for a while. Can you tell us what's what's your favorite piece right now with them? Can you give us a little taste, a little preview, something? Oh yeah. I mean, yes. What I love, I have a new piece coming, and I think what's really fun about the new items that I'm going to be introducing is the scale and the size of them. Okay. And I feel that in this day and age, consumers are seeing that lighting can be a real statement piece in their space. And so size is not as frightening, you know? So, so I think to create some really dynamic statement pieces has been really fun. So that's gonna be a neat addition to my collection as it stands. I'm very excited for October. That's awesome. Well, we can't wait to be back in October. I think, um, I've said this to, to many people, I think October is going to be the biggest market we have ever seen. I think it's going to be too. so energized. People miss being there. Um, and I can't wait to be with you in the real Airstream in October, hopefully having this chat. Um, but it, also to see what you're rolling out. Uh, oh, thank you. Not rolling out right now, but it just gives me more anticipation for October um, to see what you've got going on. Oh, thanks so much. I'm so excited and I completely wholeheartedly agree. October is going to be a rock star market. Absolutely. 
Libby, thank you so much. You're safe in New York. Um, be well. Keep busy. And and I'm sorry we didn't see hubby pop up, but maybe next. <laughs> All right. Next time. Next All time. Right. Thanks, Thanks, Michael. Everyone.